Hi everyone, it's Mariella from Binary Option Sheriff. Thank you very much for joining me today, the 30th of January. And I would like to start off this post by making a quick market analysis, um, which I receive on a daily basis from eToro. eToro is a trading platform, which is really quite fantastic because you have copy trader. And even if you're not proficient in Forex trading, all you have to do is copy the best trader and you will see your results however I will dedicate a completely different post for that these market analysis that I receive um, I would like to share with you today for the very simple purpose that I have um, also another post to discuss today which is the Jim Rickard strategic intelligence post however let's have a look at the market analysis and basically this says today very important that the US dollar is down due to the effects of Trump's policy which has raised uncertainty in global markets and has caused the greenback to slip this is due to the uh, signing of the execution banning citizens from seven Muslim uh, majority countries from entering into the United States. I will not go into the political issues which are relevant in this stage. However, they are relevant in the way that they are affecting the um, currencies and the global market, especially the greenback. And for this, I would like to introduce immediately um, the post that I want to discuss today, which is the uh, strategic intelligence um, report, which has been issued by Jim Rickard. Now, in case you don't know anything about Jim Rickard, I really strongly recommend that you do your due diligence and you Google him. And this guy is quite a phenomenon. Like him or hating, hate him. He's very uh, voluble about what he has to say. He is really an ex-CIA insider and he has really given the government a lot of information and tips in the past with prophecies as to how and where the dollar will go. So um, I have made a synopsis of what he has to say. I will let him make the introduction. It is a very, very long post. It's a very long report, which is around 55 minutes. So I have abridged it as much as possible. I would like you to see the introduction. I will analyze what he is saying. And together we will decide whether he is making sense about whether the dollar is going to lose its foothold and its strength and how it will affect not only our trading but especially if you're an investor how it will affect your investments let's have a look at the introduction together if you know my work you know i've spent the last several years warning investors about the global currency war and how it could destroy the u.s dollar one after another these predictions are coming true what you might not know is that none of these are isolated events they're what I call force multipliers, combining in a way that could already undermine your savings, send prices for most things soaring, and blow apart the U.S. market. But now there's been a much more alarming development. In short, on Friday, April 21st, there's a single event scheduled that could topple the last domino and trigger the final end of the American empire. Pay close attention, because this message isn't just another warning about the dollar. What's coming is much, much bigger than just a currency war. We're about to witness a complete rewrite of the global financial rules, ending with the destruction of the entire American empire and all the influence and worldwide dominance we've come to take for granted. If you plan to have any money at all in the stock market, in U.S.-based bonds, CDs, or savings accounts, even in gold, you need to take steps to protect yourself. And today I'll name three of those steps. That's why I'm urging you right now, please pay attention to reverse course. Because on April 21st, 2017, a Friday morning, in a room that hosts the world's most powerful financial elite, a long-awaited, fully scheduled trigger event could take place. When it does, you can see the already rapid decline of the American Empire pick up pace. Okay, I will let this um, running. However, I will give you a quick 
explanation, especially if you are new to trading and these uh, big words might really come across as being bombastic or sounding like a doomsday, I will explain it and break it down in very, very simple terms. First of all, this Jim Rickard is for real. He is not a hoax. He is not someone that is made up by uh, by someone who has put a story together. He he is a real guy, and even though his um, predictions sound like it's doomsday, um, a lot of what he says is true. Now. What will happen on the 21st of April 2017 that is going to trigger this red alert? Basically, on the 21st of September, this is documented and you can Google it, there's going to be a new IMF meeting where all the heads of states will meet and this time the meeting is going to be producing some very different results than has been expected thus far. How is this so? Basically, um, up to now, the United States has had 15% of the voting rights of every IMF meeting, which means it has controlled how the world uh, feels about the United States dollars. Well, what is going to happen in the next IMF meeting is going to see a reproposal of the voting rights. If you've never heard of BRICS, I will tell you what BRICS is. Basically, BRICS is a number of states who have basically elbowed together and um, tied their forces and their economic growth has been exponential in the past couple of years. These in include um, Brazil first, Russia, India, um, China and South Africa and this is why they're called BRICS. Basically, these BRICS states have seen a very huge growth in their economic uh, growth and therefore they are now demanding that they will have better voting rights than they've had so far. Up to now their voting rights have been 14.9% but in the next meeting of the 21st of April it is expected that they will be able to increase and uh, and have better voting rights than they've had so far. What will be the result of this? The result of this is very simple. The result will be that whereas so far the United States of America has had the uh, holding pressure to make all decisions uh, reached by the IMF, we are now going to see a decentralization of the US dollar because the biggest heavyweight is not going to be um, anymore the United States, but it's going to be the BRICS countries. So, how will this affect? The dollar, of course, will be affected because the dollar so far has been the middle currency used by everyone in the world to do their purchases. So, as you can see in this graph, uh, the US so far has 16.54%, but BRICS has only had 142 I stand corrected earlier, I said 14.9. However, um, with what is expected to be the quotas of the rebellions, we can see that they will have a stronger uh, leverage for a decision. If this happens, the dollar will not remain the world supreme currency. Already with whatever is happening with uh, local politics, and I definitely do not want to go into local politics, but we have seen that local politics can affect the way that the currencies are um, evaluated against each other. If we see a huge drop in the dollar, it might really mean that this is just a cascade of cards and a lot of investors will either be taking advantage of the loss of value in the dollar or others who are holding the dollar may see a big loss in capital. So what is Jim Rickard um, proposing? Basically, Jim Rickard is proposing three things. The first thing is to drop the dollar and to invest in gold. However, one should not invest in gold as in real gold and gold ingots but gold in gold certificates and he explains how to do this in one of his books. Secondly, he also um, gives a lot of warnings about which um, 
shares in important companies you should drop if you are sitting on these shares because it is very likely that their value will lose a lot in the coming months especially with this trigger on the 21st of April and therefore in another one of his books he tells you which of these companies should not be traded and if you are holding them in your portfolio these are what you need to drop. The third and final uh, piece of advice that Jim Rickard gives, and really this has to do nothing with a doomsday conspiracy, is that he thinks that there will be a new currency which will be traded instead of the dollar. This will be the International Monetary Fund uh, currency. It is not a Bitcoin and it is not a currency that actually stands as of today, but it is a currency that makes a lot of sense as the euro happened in all the European states, well, or else partially. Whether he is right or wrong in the next uh, world, world strength currency, is going to be the IMF currency, I honestly cannot be judged. However, there is a lot of truth in what he is saying and there is a lot of very valuable information to be gained by watching the video, which you can do on the link below. As what happens, obviously Jim Ricard is selling you something and what he is selling you at this point right now is his books, which basically he is giving on a very, very discounted offer for free, including um, digital advice or even um, advice which you will receive via email. Let's have a look at what is on offer with this um, what is called the Agora Financial or the strate Strategic Intelligence. Basically, um, we are getting an offer of an either a gold, a platinum or a silver um, enrollment or subscri subscription into his um, information. Why am I um, actually bringing this on YouTube? I honestly believe that there is a lot of valuable information to be gained by hearing what people like Jim Ricard, who have a history which is unprecedented in terms of advice that has been given to presidents, to uh, people who have made key decisions in, um, in investments, I really believe that his reports and his insight could be extremely helpful, both in trading as well also for people who are holding or sitting on portfolios you might not make full decisions about them. However, advice is always extremely valuable. You can access the full video from the link below. You can also access subscription uh, right there from this link. I have tried to put it in a nutshell because really the whole um, presentation that is made by Jim Ricard is quite a mouthful and it's quite a lot of information to digest. I hope I have explained it in the most simple of forms. Please do not hesitate to leave a comment. And if you would like to have any more information, you can always email us on support at buyingtheoptionsheriff.com. Please do remember to subscribe to this um, blog, to this email channel, to this YouTube channel, because we are always going to be giving you as much information as is possible where it relates to finance and trading. Thank you very much. See you later.